To get started for the measurement, I'm going to be using my hips measurement. My hips is 44 and I'm a size medium. Now, since I'm working into panels, I'm going to divide that by 2, which means my panel is going to be 22 inches. So I'm going to make a foundation chain that would give me 22 inches. Now make sure the amount of chains you end up with should be in multiples of 3 plus an extra 2. I have a total of 101 chains and this is a multiples of 3 plus 2. So this is multiples of 3 times 33 which is 99 plus an extra 2 making it 101. For the first row, make a chain of 1. Yarn over, go into the first 2 stitches with 1 double crochet. 1, 2, 3. Chain 1, skip 1 stitch, go into the next 2 stitches with 1 double crochet. 1, 2. Chain 1, skip 1 stitch, go into the next 2 stitches with 1 double crochet. Chain 1, skip 1 stitch, go into the next 2 stitches. With one double crochet you're going to repeat this till you get to the end of the row I'm at the end of the first row for the second row start by making a chain of one the serves as your turning chain turn over you're going to repeat what you did for row one in the first two stitches go in with one double crochet one two chain one skip the chain one space go into the next two double crochet stitches with one double crochet chain one skip the chain one space go into the next two double crochet stitches with one double crochet chain one skip the chain one space go into the next two double crochet stitches with one double crochet now you're going to repeat this till you get to the end of the row you're alternating between one double crochet in the double crochet stitches and a chain one space now since I'm working from down up so I'm working from my ankle upwards I'm going to do this like get to my waist and then I will show you how to form the waistline so you're just going to work from your ankle up to your waist and then I'm going to show you guys what to do next I have a total of 52 rows of alternating between two double crochets and a chain one for the 53rd row I'm going to start by decreasing on both sides of the panel to form the waistline of the panel chain one in the first two stitches do a decrease yarn over go into the first stitch yarn over and pull through i have three loops yarn over and pull through two i have two loops yarn over go into the next stitch and pull through i have four loops yarn over and pull through two i have three loops yarn over and pull through two chain one Skip the chain one space and go into the next two double crochet stitches with one double crochet. Chain one. Skip the chain one space, go into the next two double crochet stitches with one double crochet. Repeat this till you get to the end of the row where you are going to do a decrease.
I'm at the end of the 53rd row chain one in the next two double crochet stitches to a double crochet chain one in the last two double crochet stitches to a decrease yarn over go into the next stitch yarn over and pull through i have three loops yarn over and pull through two i have two loops yarn over go into the last stitch and pull through i have four loops yarn over and pull through two yarn over and pull through two yarn over and pull through two chain one and turn over in the first two double crochet stitches do a decrease yarn over go into the first stitch yarn over and pull through i have three loops yarn one pull through two i have two loops yarn over go into the second double crochet stitch i have four loops yarn one pull through two yarn over and pull through two yarn over and pull through two in the next double crochet stitch go in with a double crochet chain one skip the chain one space go into the next two double crochet stitches with one double crochet chain one skip the chain one space go into the next two double crochet stitches with one double crochet chain one skip the chain one space go into the next two double crochet stitches with one double crochet you are going to repeat this till you get to the end of the row where you are going to be doing a decrease. Okay, so I'm, I'm at the end, end of the, the 54th chain row. One. Chain, one, chain 1, skip the chain 1 space. space. In the next double crochet stitch, go in with now, a double crochet. In now, in the two last double crochet stitches, do a decrease. Chain 1 for the 55th row, do a decrease in the first two stitches. I have three loops and one put so I have two loops. Yarn over going to the next I have four loops and one put you two and one put you two and one put you two. Chain one. Skip the chain one space, go into the next two double crochet stitches with one double crochet. Chain one. Skip the chain one space, go into the next two double crochet stitches with one double crochet. You're going to repeat this till you get to the end of the row and you're going to do it deep. Now I'm at the end of the 55th row. In the last two double crochet stitches, do a decrease. For the 56th row, chain 1 and turn over. In the first two double crochet stitches, do a decrease. In the next double crochet stitch, do a decrease. Chain 1, skip the chain 1 space, go into the next 2 double crochet stitches with 1 double crochet. Chain 1, skip the chain 1 space, go into the next 2 double crochet stitches with 1 double crochet. You're going to repeat this till you get to the end of the row. Now you're going to keep on decreasing on both sides of the panel till you have the measurement of your waistline or half of your waistline so i did a total of six rows of decrease on both sides of the panel and this is wide enough for my waist so the measurement of this is about 18 inches which is half of my waist which my 
waist is 36 inches divided by 2 since I'm working in two panels my waistline is 18 inches so like I said you're going to just decrease till you have half of your waist measurement now from this point I'm not going to be doing any decrease for the 59th row I'm going to start by making a chain of one in the first stitch in the first two stitches go in with one double crochet chain one skip one stitch go into skip the chain one space go into the next two double crochet stitches with one double crochet chain one skip the chain one space go into the next two double crochet stitches with one double crochet chain one skip the chain one space go into the next two double crochet stitches with one double crochet you're going to repeat this till you get to the end of the row and like i said i'm not going to be doing any decrease so you're repeating what you've been doing for the previous rows alternating between a chain one space and two double crochets in one double crochet in the next two stitches Okay, so I did a total of 16 rows of no decrease. Now the panel is from my ankle all the way up to underneath my arm. So from now I'm going to be forming the arm hole of the panel. So for the 75th row, start by making a chain of one. I'm going to be doing a decrease on both sides of the panel. And the first two stitches go in with a decrease. chain one skip the chain one space go into the next two stitches with one double crochet chain one skip the chain one space go into the next two stitches with one double crochet chain one skip the chain one space go into the next two stitches with one double crochet you're going to repeat this till you get to the end of the row where you're going to be doing a decrease in the last two stitches. Um, at the end of the row, chain one, go into the next two double crochet stitches with one double crochet. Chain one in the last two stitches to a decrease. chain one for row 76 in the first two double crochet stitches do a decrease chain one skip the sorry in the next double crochet stitch go in with a double crochet Chain 1, skip the chain 1 space, go into the next 2 double crochet stitches with 1 double crochet. Chain 1, skip the chain 1 space, go into the next 2 double crochet stitches with 1 double crochet. Repeat this till you get to the end of the row where you're going to do a decrease in the last 2 stitches. Um, at the end of the row, in the last two double crochet stitches, you're going to do a decrease. Chain one, turn over. For row 77, do a decrease in the first two double crochet stitches. chain one skip the chain one space go into the next two 
double crochet stitches with one double crochet now you're going to repeat this till you get to the end of the row you're decreasing on both sides of the panel till you have the amount of rows of decrease that you want Okay, so now I have a total of five rows of decrease on both sides of the panel. Now, for the next few rows, I'm not going to be doing any decrease. So start by making a chain of one and turn over. And the first stitch go in with one double crochet. Since I have a chain one space, chain one, skip the chain one space and go into the next two stitches with one double crochet. Chain one, skip the chain one space, go into the next two stitches with one double crochet. Chain one, skip the chain one space, go into the next two stitches with one double crochet. Chain one, skip the chain one space, go into the next two stitches. With one double crochet you're going to repeat this till you get to the end of the row now for the next few rows you're not doing any decrease you're just going to be working with your pattern back and forth and I would let you know how many rows I end up doing so I did a total of four rows of no decrease on both sides now I'm going to be working on the neckline and the sleeve of the dress so i counted six sets one two three four five six my stitch marker is on the chain one after the six sets and same for this other end one two three four five six my stitch marker is on the chain one space after the six set so now what i'm going to do is going to start by making a chain of one in the first stitch go in with a double crochet chain one going to the next two double crochet stitch with a double crochet chain one going to the next two double crochet stitches with a double crochet chain one Go into the next two double crochet stitches the double crochet chain one going to the next two double crochet stitches with a double crochet chain one in this last double crochet stitches before the stitch marker you're going to do a decrease yarn over go into the first double crochet and over and put through a half two loops yarn over go into the next and put through a half four loops and over and put through two yarn over and put through two yarn over and put through two and i have my decrease chain one turn over and the first two double crochet stitches do a decrease now going to the next double crochet stitch with a double crochet chain one skip the chain one space going to the next two double crochet stitches with a double crochet chain one going to the next two double crochet stitches <coughs> double crochet chain one going to the next two double crochet stitches with a double crochet chain one going to the last double crochet stitch with a double crochet now chain one and turn over in the first double crochet stitch go in with a double crochet chain one Going to the next two double crochet stitches with a double crochet. Chain one. In the next set, go in with a double crochet. Chain one. Chain one. 
in this last two double crochet stitches you're going to do a decrease so yarn over going to the after the turn of one crochet to a half two loops yarn over going to the last stitch and put a half four loops and one crochet to your one crochet to your now i have three rows of decrease on the inner part of the dress from this point i'm not going to do any decrease so chain one in the first stitch go in with a double crochet I have a chain one next so chain one and going to the next two double crochet stitches with one double crochet chain one skip the chain one space going to the next two double crochet stitches with one double crochet Now for the last row, I'm not going to do any decrease. Chain one. Chain one. And this is the length I have for my okay. Now I'm going to repeat this on the second part to make the second hand of the dress. So I'm done with both panels. For the hand, I did a total of four rows of no decrease for the hand. Now I already joined the two panels together. So I stitched the both hands together and then i stitched the side of the two panels together all the way down to where i wanted my slit to start from now if you don't want to have a slit you can stitch all the way down to the end and you can also take the slit a bit upwards depending on how long you want the slit to be and this is what the dress looks like so thank you so much for watching this tutorial i hope to see you guys in my next tutorial and please don't forget to subscribe if you like my tutorials and if my tutorials are helpful i'll see you guys in my next tutorial and don't forget to follow me on my social media handle at this is francis